Hey, what's up, phone lovers, and welcome to the Mobile Roar podcast for the week of September 13th, 2013. I'm Joe Firua from Winsource.com. And I'm Chris Chavez from Fanjoy.com. I'm Kevin Kraus from iSource.com. And I'm Edgar Cervantes from Fanjoy.com. All right, so pretty big news this week uh, in the mobile world. And uh, we talked about it a little bit. We had a special hangout on Tuesday for the iPhone event, which uh, we went really in-depth. And we're going to talk about it a little bit today just for our Mobile Roar listeners. So, Kevin, why don't you kick it off? Okay. Well, now that the dust has settled a little bit, um, unless you've been living under a rock or haven't had Internet access for the past two or three days, uh, you probably have heard that Apple announced new iPhone devices. We've got a new two new devices, actually, which is a first um, ever from Apple. Usually Apple only will release one device a year. So we have the iPhone 5C and the iPhone 5S. And these are, the 5S is, is replacing the 5, and the 5C is coming in at a lower price point. It's going to be $99 uh, on contract. It's not as cheap as we expected, and that's been kind of disappointing for some people. Um, but it is um, going to be 99 and then the regular iPhone 5S is going to come in at the regular 199 price point. Uh, but the pretty big announcements, some pretty cool features coming in these phones. The 5S has the Touch ID fingerprint sensor, which is a new kind of security method. We've seen fingerprint sensors on phones before, but Apple has really kind of done their uh, due diligence with this and come up with a really nice design for it, and uh, hopefully it'll work just as well as they say it does. Uh, the 5C is the plastic, colorful iPhone that we've seen leaked a million times. We've talked about it here on the podcast a bunch. Um, overall, a good... I thought it was a pretty good showing, if anything, a little bit disappointing because Apple kept no secrets from us. There was nothing to surprise us at this event. Um, pretty much everything we heard was coming was exactly what happened. In fact, the only thing that wasn't uh, really known was what the pricing on the 5C was going to be, and that ended up being kind of disappointing. Um, but, yeah, I mean, I thought it was a pretty good showing. I'm really stoked about the 5S. Uh, so, I wonder how the 5C is going to do, but we'll see. What was what was your uh, biggest thing from the event that you took away, Kevin? What was the best feature, I guess? The best feature? Uh, I don't know. I really do like the Touch ID. I think that's really cool, um, and I feel kind of dumb saying that because <laughs> <laughs> because it's not. I mean, it's not new necessarily. I mean, we've seen it on phones like the Atrix. I think someone, uh, one of the commenters on Fandroid, I think even pointed out that some HP phone from like way back in the day had a fingerprint sensor on it. Um, so the actual technology isn't that new. The concept is nothing that no one hasn't thought of before, but it's it's executed pretty... Um, but yeah, pretty. it's how it's implemented, right? Yeah. I like so that I, they put it actually on the home button. Yeah. Like, yeah, it makes sense. I, well, I thought it was going to be the power button. Like, wouldn't it make more sense to have it to actually unlock your phone? It would be like... You can button. unlock your... You can turn it on with the with the home button, though. Oh, okay. Yeah. That's, yeah. that's way cooler, then. Never mind. Yeah, because when you have... So if you have an iPhone already, like, one of the ways to power it on is just to press the home button there. So instead, right, you yeah. just press press the home button and put your thumb over it, read your fingerprint, and unlock it. You don't have to do the slide. Do you think that'll anymore. come in? The, do you think that'll come in the next iPads, like iPad Mini? That's what I was like thinking the other iPad. the other day. Because and the reason that kind of was something I was thinking about is because something that's kind of overlooked, but to me is like really actually an interesting thing. One of like the most interesting things about this whole announcement, but kind of overlooked, is because of the way that this Touch ID sensor is in the home button. They've actually removed the uh, familiar home logo, the little yeah. icon on it's the button. It's a little silver a, thing. Yeah, it's a, a silver ring now, but that's like a big change because that kind of is like a, almost it's iconic. A, yeah, it's like an that icon. That is crazy. Like not even not even just like with Apple. I mean, everyone that imitates or copies, they always put like a stupid little yeah, a little square on the button. button. So yeah, so it's, it's, that's like the it, defining thing. It's not completely gone. It's still in the iPhone 5C. But then I'm thinking these. New iPads. I mean, they they might bring in. They're going to definitely bring Touch ID to other devices. Will it be this generation of new iPads? Maybe the next one. But yeah, it is something that, that to think about. But it's kind of interesting to see the death of that kind of iPhone iconography. Something that's been with the iPhone for so long. How long before we see like the next a new Android phone? Who do you think will be the first one to release uh, <laughs> some type of fingerprint scanner on there? Oh, LG will put one on the back. Yeah, <laughs> and see that actually wouldn't be crazy. That, that would be kind of cool. Yeah. That would yeah. be pretty cool. Yeah. And that, isn't that where the Atrix was? They had their yeah, they had on the back. The camera. Like, yeah. It does make. Did it sense work? Did anybody? Did anybody use the Atrix? Did it actually? I, I, I never tried. Well? 
It worked, yeah. But like, if did you try someone else, you know, using no, it? No, yeah, it was it my friends. It was my friends' Atrix, and I would try it, and it wouldn't open. And Shut it, up! Open. Are you yeah. serious? Why didn't that catch on? It just disappeared out of nowhere, and then yeah. because Apple didn't do it. Yeah, because Apple didn't do it exactly. That's, I mean, I'm kind of curious to see how well gimmick. it works That's, and if people it was, it was actually use it. It was considered a gimmick, so it yeah, I'm with, uh, I'm with you, Joe. Like, I'm curious to see. How well it's executed, and if how easily it is to spoof, and like yeah. is it, how accurate it is. I mean, Apple has already kind of released kind of like. I mean, like you a, can always spoof these things. I mean, yeah, you can so, try. I wonder if you, yeah, like get someone else's fingerprint, like like, <laughs> like, like action tape. movies. Yeah, like yeah, yeah, tape like and put it on yours, and then it's, try to do it. That'd it's be interesting. Cool. So Apple actually did some. Just what, cut they their finger to the, off, man. <laughs> well, listen to this. Just Apple cut. talked to uh to the WSJ or some other. They did an interview, kind of clarified some of these touch ID things that people are wondering about. So the first thing they said is that it, um, in case someone does steal your phone, if it's if the if they power it off and then turn it back on, they have to do an actual password. They can't use a fingerprint. If they don't unlock the phone for 48 hours, they have to use an actual password. Um, so that kind of keeps it thieves from like spoofing or like breaking in right away or turning your phone off so you can't track it. And then when they turn it back on, they can't just spoof the fingerprint. The other thing they said, speaking of cutting someone's finger off, someone was like, well, couldn't you just steal my <laughs> iPhone so and, then, and then cut my finger off? And they were like, well, you could, uh -huh. but they built in technology into this sensor where it actually has to sense that you're alive. Like, you need to be alive. Like, if it's How does just it a, sense that you're alive? It, like, no, it's I mean, reading, like, your pulse and stuff. It, blood's flowing through your fingers. They can sense yeah, I, think, I think that's how yeah. capacitive things work, right? Like, capacitive right. have to take the... It, like, flows through you it's or like something. It's like electricity. Where, I think it's yeah. more like the magnetism, right? Yeah, yeah I mean, you can't you just use someone's finger, finger like a stylus. <laughs> used it immediately on there, probably would work. While it was but, still warm, yeah. I mean, <laughs> you can say all these situations, but at the end of the day, it's just it's ridiculous. an iPhone. I mean, it's not yeah. like a jewel or something. Like, it's yeah. funny because that's it's the same thing that happened when like ice cream sandwich came out and they announced uh, face unlock, and then it was just ridiculous because people were like, "Well, couldn't someone take a picture of you and then hold it up?" And <laughs> they could just, just like, look you like, up on your on your Facebook. Like, yeah, I mean, I guess that's like, a little more. <laughs> okay, they yeah. could just kill you too. But it's, it's <laughs> Cut like, your head yeah, off. Yeah, people, people, take off people are like, "Well, couldn't they just remove your face, like face off, and then put <laughs> yeah. it on Nicolas face Cage?" On but with that, um, with the, with the face unlocked, didn't go they actually... Go find Nicolas Cage. Go find him and put it on. <laughs> didn't they use just a picture to spoof face unlock before? Didn't that work? Yeah, that they worked. Invented, like, yeah. where you have to blink. To yeah, like, you have to blink and stuff, yeah. Then they, they updated it, and you have to blink now, and then people are like, well, if you cut off someone's face and cut <laughs> off their eyes, and yeah, then you just blink. Like, and then, like, just put your face on the paper. <laughs> yeah, and put and it on, blink. Yeah. Blink. <laughs> I think I, I'm almost positive I saw a YouTube video where that actually worked and it was crazy. Yeah, you were like, see, this is retarded. This is so dumb. Like, and face unlock. Totally is, it's funny info. you guys mentioned face unlock because I was kind of thinking, is it going to become like face unlock where, yeah, it works, but is anyone going to use it? I think this is more useful than face unlock. A though. million I think it's times more useful. More useful. Yeah. yeah, it's probably safer too. Yeah. Face unlock, you, you have to get the same, like the right yeah. angle. Face unlock, you can't use if it's even like kind of dark out. It has right. to be the perfect lighting condition. It's just, it's so stupid. No, but again, like, like I said on Tuesday, I think, when we were talking, my big usability concern is going to be how quickly does it register the fingerprint? Because if you have to hold your finger for five seconds, so it's really, I'd rather just swipe my phone. Right. Yeah. yeah, that's it what I was kind of wondering. As fast as it did in the videos, it'll be cool. Yeah. Yeah. I thought I thought at first too, like you just had to put your thumb perfectly on it, in which I don't. I use like the tip of my thumb, but yeah, like, I think it's like you can do different parts of your thumb. Yeah, 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 there's, yeah, a, like, yeah. there's that yeah. one video where the lady like pressed it real awkwardly, and it still, still works. Worked, yeah. Ah, the other cool. thing I think is really cool about it that uh, I don't think you really get this problem on Android, or I don't remember having this problem on Android. When you buy stuff in the App Store on the iPhone, every time you buy an app, whether it's free or purchased, you, you have put to in put your in your password. password. Right. Yeah. I and, hate uh, that. So with the <laughs> fingerprint sense. scanner, they're going to tie that into the store. So now when you buy an app, you can just scan your fingerprint and it'll yeah. buy the app. So uh, you don't have to like type in your your thing. Cause no, yeah, that one... part is really annoing. Having Dude, to type no in more uh, Apple... kids running up your phone, your bill like 
five thousand dollars. <laughs> like the Apple ID, the Apple ID is crazy because it's it's like so much more nuttier because they have a you have to put two capitals, you have to use a minimum of like two numbers. Yeah, that's ridiculous. And you're and already it, working with the crazy. iPhone keyboard, which is terrible. Like the iPhone is a great <laughs> phone, I love it, but like I can't wait until they eventually they have to someday open it up and let me get Swift key on my iPhone. Don't most people love the oh, iPhone keyboard? Oh no, they won't. <laughs> The they will not open it up for you. Yeah, they're not going to open up nothing, but... My fingers are too big for those little buttons. Yeah. That's, not, the problem. Slow, That's not a problem with the keyboard. That's a problem with the phone. That's a problem with your That's thumbs, like, bro. That's, small, <laughs> dude. Cut your thumbs off. Get yeah. new ones. <laughs> but then I won't be able to unlock my phone. <laughs> <laughs> ah. wait, wait, wait. Anyway, so that's... Ooh, oh. there you go. Oh, that's the wrong one. Sorry. <laughs> Chris is doing a drum roll. <laughs> Oh, um, For those so, yeah, of us listening after the fact, that can't hear that at all. <laughs> yeah, 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 sorry. <laughs> uh, so that was Touch ID, which is really cool. Um, I think that's, like, the thing that a lot of people are talking about. And the other thing that everyone's talking about, obviously, is the <laughs> iPhone 5C pricing. Which, oh, I thought you were going to say cases. Oh, the cases, iPhone too. iPhone 5 cases. And that, and that. Yeah. But the, the, the C stands for cases. Croc cases. <laughs> Croc. Yeah, it stands for Crocs. It stands for iPhone Crocs. <laughs> iPhone Crocs. <laughs> the partnership with... with uh, yeah, right? Crocs. But no, it's funny. They got the, Kit Kat. Uh, Kit Kat is nothing. We got no, Crocs. We got Crocs. Crocs. We're getting them Crocs, bro. <laughs> but the, uh, so the pricing everyone was super disappointed in, and it actually caused Apple's stock to be downgraded on Wednesday because... Wow. And then people were saying Apple Doesn't like. Does that didn't... happen every time though? I, I swear, the, every time uh, I, I see some new announcement. It's funny like, because stocks drop. They were like Apple didn't do a good enough job to like deny all the talk about this being a low cost phone. So they were like, it's Apple's fault. They should have like done a better job to be like, that's not true. That's not going to happen. Like that's not real because it's this not phone a costs, low cost. Device. Yeah, it's a five hundred fifty dollar phone, and mm. people were thinking they were going to release a three hundred dollar phone. Some people. And thought I, they were I was that. I was telling you guys the other time, well, a while back. That it just seems weird for me to see Apple releasing yeah, a low cost they would, device. They would never do it. That's, that's not what we're yeah, that they insane. don't do that stuff. Yeah. That's like Gucci selling like something at like Walmart. It's not you're not gonna yeah, find that. It's not gonna work out like that. that. Apple Apple is like the designer brand of like technology. Yeah, and stuff. that's what they did with the iPad. Meaning yes, it's more affordable, but they don't consider it a no. cheap tablet. No. Yeah. It's just a smaller tablet. Yeah. <laughs> Chris is right, though, about the stock prices. I, I think they do usually drop after the last yeah. few Apple events because they haven't... Because we know everything beforehand yeah. and nothing, like, is groundbreaking or anything, you know? Well, that's the, the problem is, and, like, I was reading this thing that someone posted on Google Plus the other day, too, but, like, we've kind of, like, reached... We talk about this in uh, other podcasts, but, like, the, we're almost, like, at a plateau of stuff. It's, it's turning into... I guess, like, the PC industry and stuff, where, like, a new laptop comes out, and not everyone... They don't have an announcement for every new HP laptop that comes out or every new Asus laptop that comes out. Unless it has something, like, revolutionary or super crazy or wild, and um, that's kind of just what, like, smartphones are turning into nowadays, and it's, it yeah. sucks, because we're, we're at that point now where everything's so awesome now, it's just going to be small, little, tiny changes, and everyone's trying to think of something different, but it's just... It's, and it's I really also tough. feel like we're not impressed anymore, because... That Touch ID thing is actually really crazy cool, and it's not being made that big of a deal of. Yeah, and then people are still like, I, I just don't get it. They're like, what? Like, uh, Atrix had it, <laughs> and mm-hmm. it's like, well, that doesn't make it any less cool. It doesn't. I mean, it's just, it's still, it's just, it's crazy because to me, I think that's a dope feature, and it's something different, and it's not just a spec bump, and it's not just all this other stuff that everyone wants. Which, I mean, the new iPhone S does deliver on that, but. It's something different and new, and it's really that's yeah. hard. It's going to be hard to do moving forward into you know next year and the year beyond and stuff. It's going to be hard to think up crazy new ways to like yeah. improve well, it's like the, the smartphone. It's like the equivalent. Well, that's why the, that's why they're moving into like smartwatches and wearable yeah. technology. Smartwatches, they didn't wearable. Know what else to go, where else to go? Like, like but bendable they, displays and all. Touch that ID yeah. though is kind of the equivalent to exactly what LG did. They were like, well, we need to do something new with the G2, but we can't really do it with the specs, so they move the button around, you know? But then Apple, similar thing, oh, we're going to add Touch ID, but it's just kind of a cooler thing than putting the button it's, in the back it's of more, the It's more useful than, yeah. yeah, more useful and convenient than just moving the I will say back. that Apple needs to do something mm-hmm. and prevent all these leaks, because this was terrible. All of the stuff that yeah. we knew before this event, 
Yeah, I mean, because there's always a new manufacturer. Uh, yeah, I, I'm sure it's the change in CEO. Like, I mean, yeah, I think we can agree that Tim, around, this Tim Cook's, didn't happen. Tim Cook's not like, as good at and, hyping and, things up. And Jobs, and Jobs' presentations, yeah. him as a as a speaker, like he's just much better. Like, yeah, you felt this, you really felt like this he, presentation he was boring. This. Yeah, like, yeah, like this was something was, Steve Jobs created like himself in his garage or whatever, and he's like, I want to show you guys something. Like he was just. Yeah. Like pouring all of his blood, sweat, and tears. Not like Johnny Ive, where he tries to get all sexual with it, but like, <laughs> Jobs was really when good at that. When we created the iPhone 5. Yeah. You know what I realized? Like... <laughs> and with Tim Cook, Tim Cook, you just you just get the feeling that, yeah, he's the boss, but like some other dude created he's it, and he's kind of just, he's just talking yeah. about it. Like, hey, this is what my dude's created. Like, It was funny. To, if you, I don't know if you guys saw the Onion article that came up like the day oh, after yeah. the day of the event, <laughs> where they were like, Apple unveils like feeble old man on stage. Sweaty white man. <laughs> 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 uh, you know what I realize about Johnny Ive is he literally, literally says the same exact thing. <laughs> yeah, every yeah, video. yeah, really. Yeah. Like I'm not even kidding. It's and everyone, same everyone's thing. like, oh. Yeah, Did you guys fun. see that? Do you see he designed some stuff together with Bono for like some uh, the, some charity auction? And there's like oh these gosh. pictures. There's these pictures of him like with Bono and he's looking all cool and like his t-shirt. He, that guy thinks he's too cool. That's the cool. only yeah. pose he knows. Yeah, he has a sexy cool. voice and like <laughs> trademark Perfect, great, perfectly great shaved head. <laughs> imagine, imagine Johnny Ives ordering like a Big Mac at McDonald's. I'll take the Big Mac with the sesame <laughs> seeds. <laughs> Special Perfect, special. The crisp. bun is perfectly round. <laughs> <laughs> They're okay. like, dude, what do you want? Okay, Sesame you want a Big Mac? Sesame are Shut evenly up. spread across the bread. It, it would be so awesome. But we say. didn't stop there. But we when didn't stop there. I'm, out ordering I'm, a Big I'm Mac. also asking for a milkshake. <laughs> 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 so, speaking of good design, let's go in the exact opposite direction and talk about the LG G2. Oh. The LG G2. Oh. So, it's not available. It's not Edgar available. is creating a small community of G2s. On I am. His, he's I'm bathing in them. Let, let's put them, put them on camera. Put them on camera. Let's see him. Let's see him. So, he's got more Grab Gs than a G6. For those one. listening, Edgar has three LG G2s for some <laughs> reason. Freaking ridiculous. Which would be one G6, right? Like, fly like a G6. G6, yeah. Edgar, <laughs> when you when you write the review, I just want to see your naked body on your bed with them, like, laying like, all over you. I could make uh, them into a fan and, like, blow yeah. air into my face. <laughs> at the, the, top, the top photo in your feature should be you, like, holding all three of them up to your face. Uh, yeah, uh, with uh, a sexy pose. <laughs> And Johnny Ive can marry it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Anyways. So, so do you so like these it? Bad boys, these bad boys are out today, actually, on AT and T and Sprint. September twelfth. Yeah, uh, they're available. You yeah. said they're available on Sprint. I thought it wasn't coming. No, they're available on AT and T and and Verizon. Sorry. Yeah. So this is the Verizon. This is the AT and T one. And uh, you can buy them. Sprint, oh, on Sprint's there. on pre-order, right? Does Sprint even does, does Sprint even matter? I don't like you. <laughs> <laughs> Why are we talking about this? You guys are we so only talk about up. big news here. Do you like the phone, Edgar? I actually love it more than I thought I would. <laughs> yeah. yeah. How much uh, did you have think you love it? Have you guys seen it? Like, I, I, I'm actually, I'm probably gonna buy it. Wow. Oh, yeah. yeah. Why buy it? You've got like seven of them. <laughs> well, if they, I guess, but they're, you know, company. <laughs> um, but yeah, this is a great phone. It's it has a very nice build quality. It it's a lot like the Optimus G, Chris, which you liked a lot. I freaking love the. But Optimus it's G. more plasticky on the back. So, so you, instead of having the glass, it's a plastic. Hey, I'm all I'm I'm totally cool with that. Are which is good the because the, the glass used to break really easily. Yeah. Are you used to the button? Yeah. Do you like the button on the back? Can I don't do use the here? button because this thing has an awesome do feature. Do it. Oh, the knock on. Oh, yeah, you knock that's so on it. Cool. You turn it off. Like, wait, wait, oh, you, 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 <laughs> wait, wait! Don't move. Don't talk. Look at that. Oh, uh, homie. You know, oh, I, I have. I, I literally never use the power button. Dude, that is so cool. Yeah, man. for those of you that are listening wait, wait. and can't see what Edgar's doing, the, oh, yeah, I, the, the LG G2 yeah. has a feature where if you double tap on the display when it's off, it. Turns on if you double tap on the display again. Yeah, you don't. You off. don't actually can have you, to. Can use you the shake power it? Button. Like shake it? Like shake it twice instead of tapping it? Is it like a gyro thing or is it? 
No, it's on the screen. It's just in the screen. I'll have yeah. to show you. Uh, I'm getting your elbow. a 925, and it can do double, that, too. Double, oh, what? double tap it with your elbow. Let's see. Does it work? It works. <laughs> oh. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, Edgar just uh, double tapped with his elbow there. Um, and it worked. How about your nose? No. <laughs> <laughs> All right, now do two at the same time. It's too soft. No, all right, it's too soft. Right. It needs to side of your it, head. I think it works with like the accelerometer and like the. It's got to be something with something. like yeah. But that's that's crazy. There's a keyboard that's coming out that actually does a similar thing. So it like it only detects keys uh, when you actually tap. Like it vibrate the whole tablet. That's cool. Yeah. <laughs> so, like anyways, thing. going on on the phone, it's actually like okay. I, I usually I use a a Note two and just the difference in speed. Like I thought the Note two was you know. No. Like every other phone, they're fast. Mm. But this thing is like holy blows you know, it away. Holy fecal matter! Like <laughs> this thing is just like so fast. Yeah, it opens the apps like this. It 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 works perfectly. I love it, and it's just it's simple. It's clean. Clean it has UI. Has cool features. You know Did the you UI. Yeah. Up next week. Uh, my review is going up probably early next week. Yeah. Cool. So check yeah. in for fans for wait. that. I can't wait to read it. Yeah, dude. Yeah, are you gonna fun. have a separate section in your review just for the back button? <laughs> <laughs> Which I never use. Okay, and so if you haven't seen it, there it is. Back button. back button. You you never use it, not even once. I never use, not to turn it on. But what have you tried the any like the, sh- they have the short I use the volume. There, so. I use the what, volume button. Have you ever you, done any you like, like the at first? What shortcuts? There's like apparently like a selfie shortcut and like. Oh yeah, you push the. Oh yeah, yeah. I haven't. I don't do selfies. <laughs> you know? I'm not in. <laughs> but yeah, I do use the volume button. <laughs> oh, I, I do use the volume buttons when I need to. And I, at first, it's weird, like, cause you look for the buttons and like you go like yeah. this, you're just like, you're so where is it? Where is it? Oh, okay. So After do you a few feel days, like when you go use your note now, are you feeling the back for volume? No, I do a lot of the things that I used to do that I do with the G2. Like, like I'll get, I'll grab my note and I'll do the double tap, and I'm like, what's going on? What's happening? <laughs> <It's broken. laughs> and no, yeah, I get the that all the time stuff, when I'm like, reviewing phones. Like, the volume will be on the opposite side of my phone. Yeah, and you I'll, look for it on the other side. Yeah, right, and it's it. like after I send it back, oh god, where's the volume? <laughs> yeah. What am I, I doing? Buy it. I can't find it. <laughs> no, it's it's exactly like that, and I'm I just don't want to use the Note 2 anymore. I never thought I would say this, but oh man, you're over I it. Love, I love my Note 2, but after using this phone, I'm pretty much. Do you worried. notice a difference in size? Because I know, like, going from Note 2 uh, to anything else, yeah, it's tiny. but also this phone is it's still a big screen. Yeah, and it's a really nice screen. It's 1080p. 5.2. And it's IPS IPS LCD. You know, 5.2. 5.2 is still pretty large. And that's, that's the original note was like 5.2. Yeah, it's 5.3, I think. Yeah. I mean, I think it's a nice phone. And when and I that, it's it just out, so much easier to hold. Like, at the, you know, like Yeah, but I can't get past like the <laughs> LG interface. I just can't get down with it. It's much oh. better than the Samsung interface. Yeah, it's better than Well, I, mean, I don't even want to talk and about it. And I, I use I use Nova Launcher, so... Yeah, and you can like... After I'm, do- after I'm done reviewing it, I'm going to go to Nova and just yeah. be normal. Yeah. Yeah. Be normal. All right, that's cool. So that's the LG G2. That's the LG right G2. There. Available everywhere except for Sprint. Everywhere in my house. Everywhere <laughs> Everywhere in Edgar's house. Edgar, yeah. you open up a carrier store? <laughs> yeah, right? To sell um, all the review units. Is the LG G2, so I've been hearing about this Nexus 5 lately. Is the Nexus 5 basically like a repackaged G2, more or less? They, or? That's what the rumors say, and that's what happened last year. It was the Optimus G. Pretty much, is that's what the Nexus 4 was. It was, yeah. it was, yeah. an Optimus it was G with different looks. S- smaller display, a little bit different, yeah. cheaper. The display actually wasn't as good as the Optimus G. The Optimus G, yeah, they're all uh, IPS, but there's different quality IPS. And no, this 4, is a really nice screen. Yeah, that looks. If the Nexus 5 gets this. It's nice. Hopefully so they I, do, but I, I doubt it. They're gonna they're gonna cut they're gonna cut corners wherever they can on the on the four if they're gonna make it affordable or the next Nexus yeah. 5 or whatever. Sweet. So but, that's G2. Cool. And yeah. Nexus 5, I guess. Maybe. Hopefully. Uh, next up, let's talk about Motorola. Ooh. Yeah, so Motorola, I mean, they're coming in hot with their new Texas factory and all that stuff that's going on. Uh, churning out Moto X's. I think they're spitting out 100,000 Moto X's a week, they said. 
uh, which isn't, you know... So they're selling pretty good, then? Super impressive, but it's 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 okay. It's all right. Like, they're doing... It's good. Yeah. I mean, considering good. the fact that a lot of people didn't like it, I think that's, those are good numbers. But is that only custom ones? Um... No, their their factory also makes just the standard black and white ones as well. There was a little like um, confusion there. I remember like when it was first announced and stuff, and people were like, "Well, they, the custom ones are going to be made in the factories, and the black and white ones are made in China." So I know when like I criticized mine for being off centered, the back wasn't really like centered well with the display, and I was saying it was because of some U.S. worker. And then people got on my case, and they're like, "Well, it was technically it was made in China because." You know, the black and white ones aren't, aren't made here, but no, they are, because the, the Verge or someone else, they did a tour of the Moto X factory or Motorola uh, Texas factory, and they went in there, and then you can see they have, like, different sections for the custom ones, and then they have ones just for the carrier variants, which are just black and standard black and whites, um, stuff like that. So uh, apparently they're making a tablet. They're going to do another tablet, so... What was the last tablet they made? It was like the Verizon... Zyboard. The Zyboards. Oh, yeah, the Zyboards. Yeah, those <laughs> things were horrible. Oh, gosh. They have the weirdest names for tablets. Before yeah, no that, one, it was the no Zoom. Because they, dro- they were all droidified. Like, yeah, it was back they were when... They all about that droid branding. They but were they stayed pretty hard. consistent with the Xs. They liked the X, like the Droid X. Was there a Droid they X? Yeah. Oh, they need to have an X on? or a Z in the name of this tablet. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, but I mean, there's no or name or anything, but Z. apparently they're going to make another tablet, and uh, there's a possibility that it'll be um, customizable via, like, the Moto Maker site and all that stuff. Kind of so, like the big, Moto X. A big Moto X is what, you know. Okay. Yeah. I don't see that going over very well. But, yeah, I don't see that going over very well. I mean, if either. you can make it, if you can, like, price it, like, the Nexus 7, but I don't think they'll be able to price it like the Nexus 7. No, I nobody mean, can price anything yeah, like the Nexus 7. Yeah, that with the Moto X, so... Yeah. I mean, if they're going to be able to customize it like that, that means it's going to be assembled in the U.S. too, right? Yeah, yeah, it have to be so yeah. they can't. It's not going to be cheap. Yeah. Because like Kevin said, if it was a $240 tablet that you could customize, that would be awesome. Yeah. Yeah, really of cool. course, bro. I think this is more. This is probably more like Motorola just being like, "Man, we just bought this factory, and we, <laughs> we need to find <laughs> what else can we it. do with it? <laughs> we need to do more stuff." <laughs> yeah. yeah, like they had the grand, the grand opening. The grand opening of the factory was yesterday, two days, two days ago. Uh, it, was it was the cool. other day. They had. I saw they had posted like a Street View, like kind of you can go inside the factory or something. Yeah, you that? you can literally go onto Street View right now and oh, like, that's tight. take a I'm tour inside that. the factory and walk around. It's it's kind of neat. I'm gonna, gonna do that. Difference. I'm gonna do that. Yeah, it's cool, yeah. and you get to see like exactly what's going on in there and stuff. But I guess the grand opening was the other day, and they shut down the factory for a little while. Uh, Governor Rick Perry was there, and uh, Eric Schmidt and Dennis Woodside, the CEO of Motorola. Oh, all the guys. Um, yeah, and they, they gave some iPhones around. Yeah, I guess they gave they gave uh, Rick Perry or something like the Moto X, and I guess he got his iPhone and just chucked it. And, <laughs> <laughs> to... and then he was later seen off camera accepting yeah. this. Yeah, <laughs> going to get it. Pick it, pick it up the pieces and asking someone if they could remake it and stuff. Yeah. <laughs> he only threw it because he was like, the 5S comes out in a week. I'll use the Moto X for a little bit. Like, yeah, yeah, under his breath, I'm getting a 5S. This is disposable. <laughs> yeah. F this. Well, that's cool. Yeah. I so wish this it. was Samsung doing customizable stuff, because then I'd be like, "Oh, sweet! I want a customizable refrigerator." Yeah. <laughs> I know, huh? Man, our vacuum cleaners. <laughs> Samsung's actually being sued for by Dyson for their vacuum cleaners. Oh, yeah. Is Samsung do it anything original, or are they always? <laughs> <other people? laughs> I don't know, man. They're the kings of uh, flattering. They like to flatter everybody <laughs> by yeah. imitating. Yeah, sure. It's the best form of flattery. Yeah, that was funny. Did you guys see all the Nokia stuff? The uh, flattery. Yeah. That was pretty funny. The tweets. Yeah. Yeah, the tweets. The tweets were crazy when the iPhone five came out. It's like, um, Denny's. Denny's tweeted something. Pancake S. And then they, I don't even <laughs> know what they said. S. Like, like always golden, or we've we've always been golden. Pancake S. And it was like, <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> And it's crazy that, how big of a like, deal the iPhone is that every single company tries to like get their little tie-in. Yeah, I mean, yeah, and these yeah. are these are graphics like people, you know, they had to make like ahead of time and stuff. So they're all oh, like yeah. just waiting. They're just waiting for it. Like as soon as it comes out, we're gonna tweet. It's it. announced. It's announced. Yeah. Get those yeah. memes out there. Oh, guys, get those memes. Get those memes. <laughs> That's exact. It's it's just like our job. 
the memes, the memes, the memes. Social, yeah. Yeah. social yeah. networking. Yeah. yeah, you know, well, these companies, they all hire, like, these social network, like, coordinators. They have to do something all day, so they sit there and they make, you know, memes. iPhone 5 memes. Yeah. <laughs> but it's cool. I mean, it, again, I mean, that itself is flattery. Like, everybody has to, like, you know, everybody's yeah, trying right. to cop off Apple. They so. have to act like, you know, they're cooler. Like, a couple of people on Twitter were telling me that they think it looks bad, like, on um, Nokia, for example, a competitor. To do say stuff like that, like they're desperate. I don't know. What do you guys think about a that? little bit? Yeah. Well, at least they weren't. I mean, speaking of poorly executed Twitter things, uh, uh, did anybody uh, catch the AT and T nine eleven snafu yesterday? That was pretty bad. See, was... I didn't think that was a big deal. I didn't really? think it was a big deal. I saw it and I'm just like, oh, it's like it's a company. They're acknowledging 9/11. I was actually expecting it when I woke up in the morning. This is literally what I thought. I was like, oh, I can't wait to see what company tweeted something about it and people are going to jump on them. And I had no idea it was going to be AT&T. Because people were complaining, like, oh, AT&T, why are you turning this into an ad? But you look at it and it's a plain, generic black phone, no yeah. branding on the image, no was, branding on the phone, nothing. It's just, I don't know, it didn't seem that bad to me. It didn't still, seem that bad at all, like, exactly. But it's, it's AT&T, still, like, the I whole thing was an ad. Been, like, I can see where they're coming from because it's just connecting the whole event, which is, like, a big tragic historical event, and then you're putting, like, a phone and someone's, right. like, you know, like, capitalizing it's like, on it. you're AT&T. Do you really need to say anything at yeah. all about it? Yeah, I mean, <laughs> yeah, you, could, I mean, you could say a tweet, but, you, I mean, the image, I think, is going a little overboard. Yeah. But, because you're kind of also, like, playing on people's sympathies a little bit. That's kind of cheap. To like, me, I but... honestly think that the person who made that had no cruel intentions. Oh, probably not. No, no. It wasn't as bad They're probably... As... They were probably happy about it, like, hey, I work for an awesome company here. It wasn't as bad as the, <laughs> the, the, the LA Lakers, or are they the LA Lakers, right? What they do? They just put a picture of Kobe with hashtag never forget on top of it. What the fuck? <laughs> what? <laughs> <laughs> How Wait, did I nobody not hear about that, but I hear about the student at and <laughs> People oh. get pissed off about that or no? Uh, I saw it on Deadspin, so some people picked up on it. <laughs> That's horrible. <laughs> That is pretty bad. <laughs> that is pretty bad. I mean... Well, you know, Kobe's an American. Too soon. <laughs> too soon. He's not forgetting. <laughs> yeah, we're, we're remembering Kobe. Remember it. Anyway, we should... <laughs> yeah, let's let's move on. <laughs> before, before someone says that we're being... You know, yeah, now we're going to yeah. be the dicks yeah. here. Like, uh. yeah, yeah. So we were just talking yeah. about the Nexus 7 a little bit, um, but the LTE model is now out, which oh, yeah. is cool. So. Finally came out in the Google Play Store, $350. Yeah. It was announced like back when the Nexus 7 was first announced, and then they didn't really talk about a release date on the LTE version, but uh, out for $350, you get a two, too much, no, a month, a month of free T-Mobile 4G LTE which is only a very well, that's cool. limited amount of people. But, yeah, it's still cool because you can try it out and try you out T-Mobile like service. Yeah, yeah, you can be like, oh, T-Mobile service is good where I live, and then you can <laughs> switch over. Oh, so, T-Mobile service is bad where I live. Yeah, or <laughs> is horrible where I live. I, yeah. That's why I'm on Verizon. Just <laughs> upgrade my phone. Just upgrade. <laughs> Jump. <laughs> so it's only T-Mobile, though? Like I thought they said that. It what was is AT and T doing, guys? You can put any any four G <laughs> LTE SIM card, so it supports Verizon LTE. Yeah. It's T Mobile. You can take it overseas, or yeah, you take it overseas and stuff. But what did you just get? Uh, T Mobile is just the only one that's offering like a free deal with it or whatever the free month. Yeah, the free month is just the T Mobile. So T Mobile so gives you their, their SIM card with it. And how does that work it. exactly? Like if I buy that and I take the AT and T SIM out of my phone <laughs> and put it in the Nexus Seven, what happens? It works. You get, you get yeah. You get they don't make you get like a separate tablet plan or anything no. like that. No. No, there's no way to discern it's whether or not it's a tablet or not. But if you want to keep your SIM in your phone and use your tablet at the same time because you're some filthy. And that's actually that's rapper. actually a lot of people a lot of people were doing this thing because they're grandfathered to unlimited plans. So they bought a MiFi. Oh. And they put the the, the SIM card in the MiFi. Oh, yeah. they, they just use their Shiny. internet as 4G LTE. <laughs> And the company can't really tell you anything. Like that's it's genius. Not, it's not cheating. Like they don't get upset. They don't. They don't so they're like providing Wi-Fi for their like entire household. For, yeah, yeah, pretty <laughs> much. Verizon plan. A lot of people, are, or, they buy a ta- or they buy a tablet and like yeah. they just 
check yeah. out the sim and like and they just use the data, unlimited data for GLT. That's cool. That's a nice little yeah. So if you need to use a tablet on the go, three hundred and fifty bucks, Nexus yeah. seven. It's not bad for an LTE tablet. I'm looking for a new tablet, so maybe I'll wait. Maybe I'll get that one and just like put my uh, AT and T sim in it when I want to use it on the go or something. Yeah, yeah. All right, moving on. Uh, Google Glass. Mm. Chris, tell us all about Google Glass. No, what's up with that update? update? What's up with that XE9 update? So Google Glass was updated to XE9 every month. Uh, the Google guys or the Project Glass team they uh, issue an update for Glass, and it usually brings like all these cool new features and fun new stuff. Uh, because as it stands, Google Glass is extremely limited on what it can do, so uh, don't let other people tell you otherwise. Uh, so every update is like, I can't wait to see what they bring because I can't really do much with Google Glass right now. But XC9 introduced YouTube videos, so now you can, uh, when you do Google searches, if a relevant search has a YouTube video attached to it, so if it's like a how-to video or something that you can use while watch, like while watching and keeping your hands free, like a how-to video on how to make guacamole or how to change a flat tire, uh, it'll pull it up like as a first result, and you just click play and you can watch it and skip ahead and do all kinds of stuff. So it's pretty, pretty cool. Welcome change. Uh, you can't really browse through just like tons of YouTube videos. You can speak. Uh, like a search, like uh, was it like Moto X review video on YouTube, and it'll pull up nothing but YouTube videos, and you can go through those. But you're only limited to the top ten search search results. After that, you're just kind of screwed. You can't do anything else. So, I mean, it's not really a smartphone. If you want to do something more in depth, uh, just like anything on Glass, you got to pick up your smartphone and do it from there. So, Glass is just a companion. But uh, they also added Sound Search, which is just the regular Google Sound Search that you have on your phone, like Shazam. So uh, when you go to a search, you just swipe to the left, and then if actually, when you long press it, it pulls up the voice command thing, and it says like, "What do you want to do?" Uh, if it hears music, it'll say swipe to the left to do a sound search, and it's kind of weird how it works right now. It doesn't really work all the time, and it's kind of annoying because if you're out someplace and it's kind of loud, it'll think that there's music playing, and it'll ask you if you want to do a music search, and you try to speak something, and then it's like it's kind of weird. But uh, it works pretty well, I guess. It works okay. Can you do just like, OK, Glass, what's playing? Or like, what song is it? Can you do like a command like that? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You can say like, OK, Glass, what song is this? Or whatever. And then it'll just automatically jump into sound search as well, which is kind of neat. Um, you don't even have to really speak it, because you could just long press it. Like I said, you long press it on the, the touchpad. It'll pull up the normal voice command things. And if it hears music, uh, you could just swipe, and it'll start listening like automatically. So. Uh, voice commands or through physical whatever. And then they introduced something called Vignettes, which was kind of confusing at first because nobody knew what vignettes. it was. Yeah, it's not it's not like the whole you take a is picture. Is it for the camera? No. no? It's, I mean, it kind of is. It's basically you're taking a screenshot of wherever you're at on, on glass and then you superimpose it uh, on the camera image uh, like you're shooting at something. Okay. So. It, it just kind of gives people a cool little way of experiencing glass. I've seen what you see when you see through glass, so um, really there's no point to it right now, and it's, 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 just, it's really just to kind of, I guess, brag about you having glass, and like when you post it on social networks, you're just like, like this is what I'm looking at right now, and people are just yeah. like, you're, you're so cool, <laughs> oh, man. man. You're and, you got oh, Google. Yeah. You got that Google? You, you got that Google. <laughs> you got that Google, man? You're, you're so cool, bro. Yeah. <laughs> What's up? Someone in our comments is requesting that you say, "Wow, man, you just took the most acid I've ever seen." Tommy Chong style. <laughs> <laughs> that from a movie or something? Yeah, Do it. I think it's like a Cheech and Chong reference, man. Wow, man, you just took the <laughs> most acid I've ever seen. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, guys. Yeah. Yeah, very, good. very good idea. Yeah, I um, like to please my readers. I like, Speaking I like of to Google have... Glass, some ex <laughs> Apple, some ex <laughs> Apple guy came out this. <laughs> God, oh, yeah. Colors, but, yeah, like <clears throat> what Johnny Ive was doing when he designed the iPhone 5C. <laughs> um, no, some I, I don't know if he still works at Apple or he used to work at Apple. I don't know the exact details of the story because it kind of slipped under my radar while I was watching all this iPhone 5 stuff. But some Apple guy came out and said that. 
it, in the past, Apple had made multiple prototypes of something just like Google Glass, but they kind of just gave up on it. They didn't really see anything to they do with it. They thought it was stupid. <laughs> <laughs> Why yeah. would anybody wear this? Stop <laughs> working on this. <laughs> I mean, it's a cool idea, and I feel like that actually does sound something like something Apple would do, because honestly, the battery life is so horrible, it, this can't be like ready for consumers at all. Like yeah. you need, they they should have made the battery on this side and this side, so you just have two big like things hanging up the back. Wrap around the back of your head and wrap all the way around <laughs> with like a gigantic battery or something. But yeah, it's just it's not ready for prime time, and you can kind of tell where like how I guess the differences between Google and Apple, where Google's like, well, it's beta, we'll just call it beta, and then Apple is kind of not so much like that. They want to release this completely polished product and. Google's just like, it's cool, it's awesome, we think it's neat, let's just release it and see how people like it. But in Google's defense, they haven't really released it. I mean... Exactly, it's not it's not yeah. super out, but I mean, they're giving it to celebrities, people are I mean, using it. They're doing it. the smart thing. They need to hype it up if they ever plan yeah. on really releasing it. They need to get exactly. it hyped up. So during this beta time, they're trying to hype it up as much as they possibly can, and it's just... Um, it's crazy. And I, I mean, you see, I see these articles all the time about, like, how cool would it be if Google Glass, like... Uh, if you used it, I think the NBA, like some manager for one of the teams, talked about referees using Google Glass, and people were like that'd be so awesome because you can they can make a call and you can see like through their eyes like and replay it and go back and slow mo it. And I'm like, there's no way <laughs> that I've ever happen. thinking too much into it. Yeah. The way way too much into it. The battery life. Tr- just trying to live stream, you would. I mean, the guy would have to have it connected to like a huge old battery pack, and it would just be impossible right now. But I mean, there's a lot of cool stuff you you might be able to do with it in the future, but right now it's just it's kind of a little, kind of like a little toy. All right, that's a thousand five hundred dollar toy. Yeah. Mm. So where's all the where's all the Windows Phone news this week, Joe? Uh, I was gonna mention a lot of it in my win and fails of the week. All right, then we'll save it. Um, we'll but save I it. one more thing I wanted to mention though. This actually is for Windows Phone. Uh, and Android and maybe iOS. The Xbox Music app is that uh, only on Google I Play? Checked. I'm not sure if it's on iOS. I know it came out for uh, Google Play this week. I'm yeah. not sure about iOS. So but. that's it's cool. I just noticed it the other day on my Xbox. It just popped up, and I was like, "Oh, this is cool." Because right. I used to I used to be a big fan of Zune. I had the little Zune music player. Yeah, and I, I had, had the whole Zune. software, and I was downloading music like crazy. So, so if anyone out there has like a Windows phone and I don't know a Nexus Seven, you can have all your music on both devices. That's pretty cool. Oh yeah, that is kind of cool. I never even thought about that. Oh, so you anyway, could use uh, Google Play Music. Yeah, yeah but I think phone. <laughs> they have different they have different like licensing and stuff with the yeah. like record companies. Right. So like sometimes you'll find music on one you can't find on the other. So. Plus, you can do yeah. that like the Xbox Music Pass, you know. Mm-hmm. Yeah, they do have. They both yeah, have their I'm, pluses and minuses. I'm looking at it now. They do have Xbox Music for iOS. The up it says it was updated on September 9th, but I don't know if it's been out for a while and just got okay. updated this week. But so yeah, there you go. On every platform, you can. Listen to your Xbox Music collection. What about BlackBerry? <laughs> <laughs> On every platform, you can listen to your Xbox Music. Let's let's get, <laughs> let's get real here, bro. I wonder does has anyone tried the Xbox Music thing? Because I know that on the Zoom that you would like they'd let you download and keep. I think it was like ten albums a month, so you can permanently I use it. But I don't have the Music Pass. I I just use the cloud collection, which essentially works the same as Google Music. So. Oh okay. Well, Xbox Music, now available. So let's move okay. on to our wins and fails of the week. Oh, this should be good. Hold on, wait. There it is. Applause, applause, applause. And the and <laughs> fails. Wins and fails. Yeah. All right. Oh, if only our listeners could hear the sound effects from the yeah. hangout. Sound effects are so awesome. I think so they can to go the first. Should we go in alphabetical order? Chris, you got anything? Um... You guys can... Edgar, yeah, we'll start with Edgar. <laughs> start with Edgar. <laughs> All right, so my win of the week is, as you probably could tell already, is the, I actually happen to love the LG G2 more than I thought I would. <laughs> and I was like, when I saw the announcement, I was like, this thing is whack. Like, I, don't know, I don't know how they went from the Optimus G2. LG2 is so whack. That's what, that's what a lot of people think, though. I mean, like, I was like, I don't know how they went from the Optimus G, which, which was awesome, to this, like, why are they doing this to us? Why are they doing this to? <laughs> no, but I, it's actually an, as, an awesome phone. It's fast, it works, it's simple, and it has cool features. 
And for my fail, I have the iPhone 5C, which Ooh. I just don't know what it is doing in this market. <laughs> <laughs> what are you doing in this market? What are you you doing? don't belong here. Get, like, get it, it shouldn't market. even exist. Like, I don't get it. Someone posted a picture of like a Dora the Explorer plastic phone, and it looked like an iPhone 5C. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that thing uh, is expensive. Play. Like, All right, like so at I'm that gonna... point, why not buy... An iPhone 5S, like yeah. But here's the so here's the uh, my one defense of it is I think their strategy. I understand what Apple's doing. They're not going to sell the iPhone 5 anymore. Like they normally would have taken the iPhone 5, dropped it down to ninety nine dollars, and released the iPhone yep. 5S. But instead, they ripped out the guts of the iPhone 5, put into this colorful iPhone 5C. So now they can sell you last year's phone, but still say it's a new phone. Exactly. Yep. So like. And not only that, it's it's like it's it's a uh, build quality wise, it's a, it's more of a differentiating factor. So yeah. cause people will see like, do I want this plastic colorful <clears throat> one, which is fun and neat and hip and cool, or do I want this premium yeah. gold iPhone 5S? So it's it, it, well, it's, it's like think about it. Like, it like, I think it'll also create some kind of pressure though. Like like if I get possibly. the the if I get the iPhone 5C like. Oh, people are gonna know I have the inferior iPhone. Exactly, and it's like, so much. Exactly, that's such a good point too. This yeah. is this is exactly what but they you were know doing. What? I keep telling them. But if they, if they just had the five, it would yeah. be like, oh, it looks exactly like the five S. So or they like, can't even use the excuse like, oh no, I've had this five for like a year now because people right. know that you yeah. just got the five C. But, but you yeah. know what? I actually think the five C is gonna sell more than the five S. Oh, I think it'll be. I because think it's gonna do really you well. Know, the right. iPhone is kind of turning into this phone that like your mom and your grandma and all. These people sure. have, and the 5s almost. I mean, it looks so premium, like it's kind of like an adult phone. And if you yeah. want the cool, hip but they're, iPhone, they're I think the same. 5c, but they're the same. But they're not. They the don't same. look the same. They don't no, have the but same in features. terms of like your mom and your grandma and whatever using it, like it'll be the same experience software-wise. Like, yeah, but you won't look like be, your mom. Like, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Your mom, bro. <laughs> yeah, anyway, bro. Uh, let's see. I'll do my win and fail. All uh, right. Alphabetically after Edgar. So my win, I have two wins uh, since I didn't mention any Windows Phone thing before. First of all, the Lumia 1020 is now 200 bucks on AT&T permanently. Wow, so, that was a quick price drop. Yeah. yeah. If you're, I mean, People this are always not happens. Buy it for 300. It's a normal. Well, it's yeah, a yeah, normal yeah. It happens every single time. Three weeks. I think it's always like three weeks later or a month after. It just boop drops down to like a normal price. So yeah, if you wanted that phone for the camera and you're waiting, now is a good time to get it. Uh, and then my other win is uh, some leaks from Windows Phone 8.1 have been coming out, and they just have like a ton of features that everyone has been wanting. Uh, you got actionable notifications, so you tap a notification that pops up and you reply to a Facebook message or something right in the thing, kind of like how Android has with their, uh, like they have the buttons in the notification bar, you know, you can do stuff like that. Uh, you can sort the app list uh, in a bunch of different ways. Uh, just a cool, a lot of new features that like power users have been wanting, and it'll take it up to uh, up to par with like Android and stuff. And then uh, my fail is at t but not the 911 thing. It's the, uh, <laughs> I pre-ordered a phone <laughs> last week, and it said when I pre-ordered it that it was going to be shipping on September 11th. So Ooh. I checked yesterday, it had not shipped, and it says, will ship in five to seven days. Really? What Why phone? did I pre-order the phone if I'm not going to get it until after it's in stores? Yeah, you what can just go to the store it? and pick it up. That's I can go to the store and get it tomorrow. I mean, <laughs> yeah, that uh, was like that was like a fail I had a couple weeks ago. I pre-ordered Madden and Amazon shipped it to me like two days late, and I was like, I could have just gone to Walmart at midnight and got it. I know. <laughs> I mean, what is the purpose of pre-ordering? Yeah, exactly. So. I like went on at t site today just to see if I could. You know how sometimes those chat windows will pop up. Yeah. I just wanted to like bitch somebody out I who hate, had nothing. I hate those to internet add. chat windows. Yo. <laughs> and this person has absolutely nothing to do with it, but I just felt like complaining. So. So what phone was it? Uh, Lumia 925. So that just Why came not out just this get week. The 1020. Cause I don't want the big camera. <laughs> All right. Maybe I'll have it to show you guys in the next podcast. So. Kevin, you're up. 
Um, I mean, I could name a lot of fails and a lot of wins this week, but I'm going to go with my main fail. I already talked about it a bunch. Or my main win starting off. Um, I really like Touch ID. I think that's really cool. I was impressed. I thought it was going to kind of be like more like that Atrix, more like the older fingerprint scanner things where you're just like, eh, I don't know. But I think this is something people are actually going to use. I'm looking forward to it. I think the iPhone 5S overall is a big win. Um, it wasn't like these last S iterations. A lot of the time they had the like the 4 to 4S was such a small jump and it was kind of disappointing. And then even the 4S to the 5 was a new package, a bigger screen, but kind of a smaller jump. I think just overall with the A7 processor going into a 64-bit architecture, uh, going with Touch ID, the improved camera looks awesome. You have 120 frames per second slow-mo video. They added an unrivaled. Mode. It's unrivaled. Yeah. So I think the iPhone 5S is a big win. Um, I'm going to kind of piggyback off Edgar and say, in general, I kind of think the iPhone 5C was a little bit of a fail, but more specifically, they spent like half of the iPhone 5C presentation talking about those silicon cases that we already mentioned. Those <laughs> oh, that was, that was my fail. cases, but that's my fail. No, your fail is your Kickstarter, man. Wait. Oh, gosh, yeah. Perfect. <laughs> Kevin saves the day. <laughs> that's what my fail was. <laughs> okay. So my turn. All right, are you done, Kevin? Yeah, I'm done. Go for it. Take okay, so my win and fail for the week. Uh, my win is the Nexus 5, which I think it was last week. It passed through the FCC, and we th there was just a treasure trove of freaking leaks for the Nexus 5 last week. Uh, it passed through the FCC, and it revealed all this information about the phone, the size, uh, size of the display, pretty much everything you... I mean, that could be up... It, but the only thing we didn't see was a picture of the actual phone, but today, uh, Quentin, our own Quentin Kenimer posted uh, some images from a new FCC filing, which uh, was supposed to be for the Verizon version of the G2. This is what the, uh, the FCC filing said, so it was trying to fly in under the radar incognito status, but, I mean, there's like millions of people digging through all the FCC files lately, and someone found it, and it's it shows the pictures of the Nexus 5. It's exactly what we thought it was going to look like, and uh, almost exactly like some of the renders. The back of the phone has some sort of weird uh, casing on it to kind of hide the fact that it normally says Nexus in, like, landscape mode. Um, but it is most certainly the Nexus 5. So it's just sitting there. Uh, the model number is LG D820, which is exactly what the previous FCC filing showed. So this is definitely not a Verizon G2. Uh, at all. Verizon G2 just looks like a regular G2. <clears throat> yeah, so th then it, yeah. yeah, not only does it not look anything like it, but the, the actual model number that's printed on the back of the phone says LG D820, which is the Nexus 5 from last week's FCC filing, yeah. so nice try, LG. <laughs> nice try. But uh, So that's cool. So we get to see it, and it looks pretty neat. The front of the device has small bezels on the top like the G2, but the bottom has a little bit of a thicker bezel. So not a 5.2 inch. I guess it's like the it's basically the LG G2, but instead of the 5.2 inch, um, they kind of just shrank the screen on the bottom or brought it up a little bit. Where's the power um, button? Power button's on the side, the side. So deal breaker. It's, it's right where your thumb deal is. Deal breaker. No You're deal for it. me. <laughs> does, it, does it have the tap to unlock? I'm I out. bet not. Yeah, I don't. <laughs> I bet not. I mean, it's it's vanilla Android, so yeah, whatever. Oh, Edgar is cool. not impressed. Edgar's not, not impressed. impressed. Not impressed <laughs> you know what's impressive? Right here. This is impressive. Why don't you just go start a family with your G two? Yeah. yeah, they're breeding. <laughs> but now we know how we got them. so many of them. <laughs> Seriously, <laughs> it started multiplying, man. So that that was my win, and my fail for the week is definitely got to be this little guy here. Uh, I don't know if you guys saw the Kickstarter way back when, but this is the Impulse Impulse um, U yeah. Bluetooth controller. It's got little buttons on the back too, which I thought would be awesome. But the thing is made out of the most <laughs> cheap plastic. It feels like. Literally, I got this out of like those twenty-five percent machines, and it just how much did that thing cost? Popped out. I think it was like thirty-five bucks or something. One of the oh gosh, yeah. You could have gotten a Chromecast with that. So this was my first, my first <laughs> Kickstarter that I, I ever backed, and the first one that I've ever received. And it, you never know, again. 
<laughs> yeah, I'm so. I mean, that's like, kind of how Kickstarter goes. Yeah, I'm. Pit, I'm just so done with Kickstarter now. Even when I see something really cool, unless it's like some little plastic thing. I think I kickstarted um, is that pressy the little button that goes. But now I'm kind of regretting that a little bit too. But um, <laughs> this thing is just the worst. I'm. I'm gonna do a review soon. I'll take a bunch of pictures and post oh, it on geez. Android. But usually I don't like to do reviews on something if we're just gonna bash it. Take but. those macro shots. I'm gonna get all up in it. Um, and I'm sure they made it look so cool with like their Apple video, or like yeah. Apple esque video. Yeah, yeah, they always have these cool videos, and it's like it, it, when you push the button, it it's lights got up. Got some a lights, bit. yeah. But it the videos they showed like this metal looking premium little controller. Yeah, it looked amazing. Yeah, like and Johnny it looked... Ives talking over it. <laughs> I designed the controller. The when we thought about where... designing this controller, we thought, what is the cheapest <laughs> plastic known to man? What is the cheapest <laughs> materials known to man? <laughs> it's paper. Stationary. Stationary paper. <laughs> but this is just... This is just ridiculous. It's unabashedly plastic. Or what do you say? It's un, unequivocally yeah, yeah. plastic. <laughs> Make no qualms about it. <laughs> okay, so that's 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 just my fail, and oh, expect review good. coming in later. <laughs> oh, that's <laughs> funny. Chris, you do a pretty good Johnny Eye voice. Yeah. <laughs> I'm the worst British, and I can't do it for the life of me. Oh, I think um, we've got to end the podcast on that note. Yeah. Uh, um, oh, wait, do we want to give a special shout-out this week? Oh, right. Fandroid, Sprint? you guys have a new member. Would you like oh, to introduce him? Oh, yeah. So uh, yeah. You guys will probably him to the listeners. You, you did know him. They the, probably mobile, know him. the Mobile World podcast is about to get a little more crowded. Uh, I think next week we might actually be joined by our newest team member. His name is Derek. And, uh, Derek he's, Ross. Derek Ross, sorry. And he's pretty big on Google+. So you guys, you probably no, know you him. You guys probably know him. Yeah, he's, he's, he's from kind of, he's uh, the guy. Android Authority. He comes from Android Authority. Yeah, yeah, he was previously with Android Authority. Now he's joining the Fandroid team, and you guys will be seeing, you know, a lot of editorials and uh, opinion pieces from him on Fandroid. I think he his most recent one was on the iPhone and how they're copying Android. Uh, it's a little controversial, oh, yeah. so you guys might yeah. want to check that out. Um, but yeah, he'll be joining us. He's he's pretty good or big on these podcasts, so he's going to be joining us probably in the coming weeks. So be on the lookout for that. If you guys notice a new face, Derek Ross, guys. All right. So uh, you can contact us with podcast at mobileroar.com. Send us your questions, comments, uh, wins, fails of the week. Anything that you would like, you can contact us, contact us there. You can also hit us up on Google+, Plus, Facebook, Twitter. We're everywhere. Uh, and we will see you guys next week for more delicious mobile news. So see you later. See, ya. see you guys. Have a good weekend, everybody. One love.